Today I'm back to playing around with my um, leader LTC905 curve tracer and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and show real quick how you would see if a Zener diode is actually good and working as it should. For example, this is a 5.1 volt Zener diode, I believe. And like on my curve tracer here, let me just show this here. Now, I don't want to show the complete uh, hookup here because if you have one of these curve tracers, yeah, most likely you have an instruction manual and you a manual and you should know how to hook this uh, thing up um, like this one for example it has it has what's called a horizontal length that way you can figure out exactly what voltage that you're uh, measuring so it'll be calibrated to the scale and of course when we hook up the curve tracer and we check out a diode all we need are two of the test leads um, and of course to check a Zener diode, there's you hook up the Zener diode like you would hook up a normal diode and then what you do is you put it in the reverse position because that's how a Zener diode actually works. You want to know basically the um, breakdown voltage. So uh, let me just go ahead and show how to how that would work so that everything is uh, calibrated. If not, if you try to measure the breakdown voltage, it's going to be twiddling around is, is everything's going to be completely off and you're not going to you're going to get frustrated so now I got the Zener diode hooked up and right there you see it, I've got it removed now so all I've got now basically is a horizontal a horizontal line and what I do then um, for example they want you to set this leader up at um, 0.1 volts per division the actually the horizontal and again I've got I don't know if I mentioned of course you have to be in XY mode but if you have a curved tracer you should know this anyways so what we do then once we got that set up here at 0.1 volts per division here then like for example now I'm in the my collector sweep voltage here I can adjust that anywhere from 10 to 100 volts I'm at 10 volts basically and now I, adjust, I adjust that horizontal length control you see that you can see here you can adjust it like that and you get it so you fill it fill out the whole basically screen so basically what it is it's um, covering basically 10 divisions now, of course, uh, if it's covering 10 divisions and let's say the diode breaks down at 7 here, then all we got to do is count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let me go ahead and hook that diode back up. So now we should be now, this, again, I think this is a 5.1, yeah, it is a 5.1 volt Zener diode. And what we do now is we count one two three four five and this could possibly be yep um 5.1 volts or somewhere around there or maybe even 5.2 but anyways it's very close and when we're looking for the action of a zener diode what we want to have is this here we basically want to have a 90 degree turn nothing happens until here boom and then it starts conducting remember the diode is hooked up in reverse so from this flat line to here, nothing at all is going on. But once we reach that 5.1 volts, boom, then it's going to start conducting. That's what we're looking for in a good um, diode. Of course, we can play around with the current controls to um, switch that. Maybe it's easier to follow like this. I just inverted the trace again. Again, so we count the five and then it's about 0.1 or 0.2 there boom and then it starts conducting that's how a good um, diode should look if you have one of these uh, curve tracers let me see if I can't get another diode now we have a 18 volt Zener diode and of course uh, before I was on 
the collector sweep voltage was 10 volts per division as can be seen here here's the 10 volts per division and here again is that horizontal length control for the uh, calibration with the oscilloscope scale so for good measure here I'm actually um, readjusting that trace I've got the I've got no diode hooked up now and um, let me just go ahead and adjust this to fill this 10, um, 10 radicals here and of course if I move the horizontal length control I can go ahead and um, adjust the size and also I switch to 20 volts uh, sweep collector voltage so let me go ahead and do the hookup and see if what I said is true Okay, I think I said this was 18 volts, and um, of course, and this is, I'm on the 20 volts uh, collectors, um, the sweep voltage, basically. With 20 volts of sweep voltage, and it would send us 2 volts per division, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and there it is, 18 volts. That's when the Zenit IO is actually breaking down. And again, that's what we're looking for, a nice, um, basically a nice 90 degree bend. So next I'm going to take a look at a low voltage, a 2.7 volt Zener diode. And I'm just setting it up now. So I get the basically the scale calibrated here. Okay, now I'll hook it up. Here we go. And here we can see. Um, of course, we can always hit the inverse function. Make this easier to follow this is a this is one volt this is two volt this is well two radicals here and it's supposed to be 2.7 volts and I'd say around there you notice the curve here is um, rounded off it's not a 90 degree bend um, like it would be with the higher voltage Zener diode um, looks like this is a characteristic of these low voltage um, Zener diode and also we can to uh, if you want to know how does it look if if if, if the Zener diode now we're, what we're doing we're checking it backwards um, how about we do forward conduction so what I'm gonna do is then we can just take a look at that let me set this up again Okay, and what I do is just, I just hit the switch on the curve tracer. It'll be a switch where you can reverse or uh, forward. I mean, of course, that means now I gotta reset it even again. Okay, see what we get. Nothing. Okay, why is that? Well, I don't have it hooked up. So, and of course, we can manipulate the controls here again and we'll hit this inverse switch to make this easier to see play with the controls and here now this is forward conduction um, nothing happens until we have to remember that to each um, basically each radical here represents one volt so basically I'm about looks like about 0.7.8 right here uh, we have to remember this is a all this is is a um, a depiction of voltage versus current that's all this waveform here shows so nothing happens till we reach about 0.7 volts and then it starts conducting that's how um, basically that 
basically works. So as a last test, I'm going to be checking out a 3.3 volt Zener diode, and I want to see if this has the same characteristics as a two as the 2.7 volt Zener diode. The 2.7 volt Zener diode, when it went into breakdown, it didn't have like an abrupt uh, bend in the curve, but rather it showed a gradual. Um, basically a gradual increase in current um, I want to see if this 3.3 volt Zener diode has the same thing of course all Zener diodes basically are rated the, the important ratings are the Zener voltages the um, power dissipation they're rated at different wattages like half watt one watt and so forth and the tolerance I think this is a I'm not sure I think this might be a plus five to minus five percent tolerance you'll see something like, like I have like ten percent or something like that um so let me go ahead and hook this thing up here now, of course remember the, the, the zener now it it won't conduct until we um won't conduct until Actually, it reaches breakdown voltage. So let me go ahead and. Okay, we got this. <coughs> Let's take a look at the. Uh... Hmm, looks about just the same as the other one. I wonder if I. If when I bought this and I got the wrong one, that could be a possibility too. If they got it mixed up. I don't know if I can read anything on the diode um anyways whatever the case is this is showing the same characteristic right there just rounded and of course and we look at this in the forward forward conduction um well diodes are really not used um this way i mean Excuse me, Zener diodes are really not used in this way. Uh, they're about useless if you use them in forward uh, conduction. That's not what they're made for. They're made to be uh, made to be hooked up in basically reverse. Well, I think that about covers um, about all about the Zener diodes. Of course, you can see if if the Zener diode would be open now. I'm going to remove this. Um, remove one of the leads here to the uh, curve tracer see that would be rep that would be an open that's what that would look like and of course a dead short would be that should be up and down of course I have to like that that would represent a dead short every curve tracer of course is different and this video applies to the leader LTC 905 uh, but in general the principles here apply anyways um, thanks for watching I don't want to go too deep into this subject or carry on and on because um, it's kind of an arcane subject that nobody really cares about